Welcome everybody to the UNL Volleyball Show, along with the head coach of the UNL Volleyball Program, Rose Shires, I am Matt Kelly, and coach, every athletic program needs some sort of support, and your volleyball program has what you call the Block Club. Talk about the Block Club and, and just what they do for the UNL Volleyball Program. This will be our 15th year of the UNO Block Club as our main booster club for the UNO Volleyball team. Uh, we've been very excited with their level of involvement in the past and, and kind of their vision for UNO Volleyball and their support of UNO Volleyball in the future. Uh, some of the things that the Block Club does, uh, they'll bring in either indoors or outdoors depending on the weather. Uh, and have probably two, three hour tailgates prior to a match. <laughs> uh, so the crowd's really pumped up and excited by the time they, uh, they get into the match. Uh, they'll travel with us on road trips. We'll have booster buses go up to some of our uh, far away trips up to Duluth, Minnesota, uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota when we play in the NCAA tournament. The booster bus uh, gets about 40, 50 people together. Mm. And, and uh, travels with us. Most of our away matches, we actually have more boosters, more fan support than the home teams do. That's kind of nice. Uh, yes, and the Block Club's extremely instrumental in that. Uh, what the Block Club also uh, has been doing for us is providing a fifth year scholarship fund. Hmm. So they uh, actually go out and raise money uh, either through our UNO Volleyball Golf Tournament, which is a blast if anybody is interested in that. Uh, and we do a couple raffles throughout the year, but they do make enough money for us to be able to provide our seniors uh, with a fifth year scholarship so that they can complete their degree and graduate from UNO. How long has that been going on, that, that uh, program, the, the fifth year? This is our fifth year, actually, okay. of, of our year fifth year scholarship. Okay. Uh, and so we've had quite a few young women be able to take advantage of this uh, once their scholarship runs out, being able to continue to uh, be on scholarship and graduate from UNO. Let's talk about, and we'll go back to the block club, but academically, uh, you guys aren't just good on the court. You guys are pretty darn good off the court as well. You know, I, I have three expectations of my players when they come into my program. Uh, one is they attend UNO to be a great student. Uh, I expect them to go to class. I expect them to do well uh, in school. Second reason they attend UNO is because they want to win a national championship. And the third reason they attend UNO is because they want to become great people. Uh, and I hope that I offer them opportunities to be successful in all three areas. But academics are extremely important to us. Uh, this actually is the 14th year that we have received the American Volleyball Coaches Association Game Plan Award for academic excellence. To be eligible for this award, you have to have a 3.5 grade point average or higher on a 4-0 scale. Uh, on the team aspect, The team, right? the team has to have that. Wow. And so, you know, the, the athletes on our team have developed what I call a culture of champions uh, academically, athletically, and personally. And this is something that the young women foster on our team is to academically do their best. And so I'm very proud of what they do. And it's no wonder that with that said, I mean, w with how successful you are on the court, in the classroom, that people do step up to the plate and support the program uh, in terms of being a part of the block club. Now, is it like the other, uh, you know, the, the UNO soccer booster club and the, you know, the football program? Is it? It's not just people that have children in the on the team and all that, is it? I mean, it's it's people from just the community as well, the volleyball community, people that just want to be involved. Exactly, and you know, there are so many people in this area that love volleyball and that think that volleyball is the premier sport, uh, and and they want to be involved in volleyball and, and actually you'll find a lot of the people in our booster club or booster club members in a lot of uh, universities around here hmm. uh, because they love volleyball and they will do anything to help us out so we really appreciate the support of the entire community and just being able to have that I mean I know you're very active too with the, the volleyball clubs in the in mm -hmm. the area as well so it's kind of one of those things where you support those other things and then people come out and, and support you as well. Exactly, and, and that's I think one of the great things about the volleyball community is, is that we help each other uh, because honestly it's just for the betterment of the sport and the betterment of the student athletes. Speaking of the student athletes, they have to have somewhere to play. You guys play at the Sap Field House. You said on the road, more times than not, you'll mm -hmm. have uh, just as many if not more supporters there. What kind of uh, home crowds do you get and uh, how, how much would you like to see it f full on a nightly basis? 
We would love to see the, the field house full uh, on an every match basis. <laughs> uh, we have filled the field house several times uh, with people coming. They know the big matches. Uh, people in this area know volleyball and they know who the big teams are that we're going to play. So they will come and fill up the field house. Uh, we're going to average about 900 to 1,000 uh, people at each one of our home contests. Uh, and a very rowdy, a rambunctious crowd that knows volleyball and that, that cheers for the appropriate things during the match. You know, one thing that I've seen with volleyball, I mean, I've, I've covered the Huskers down in Lincoln mm -hmm. for a number of years. Uh, that sport in particular, very fan friendly. I mean, after the matches, you know, the players aren't running right off the court into the locker room. They're, they're hanging out with the crowd. They're, they're signing autographs. They're signing balls. Is, is that something that you feel, again, is very important to help facilitate and, and grow the volleyball community? Contrary to some sports figures, uh, we do believe we're role models. Uh, we, we believe we're role models for a lot of young boys and girls uh, in this community. And so we want our athletes, uh, after a brief period where I've had the opportunity to talk to them after the match, to be able to come and mingle with the crowd and sign autographs. On a on a game by game basis, we have a lot of youth teams coming in, Girl Scouts, um, Girls Inc. comes in. So we have a lot of um, young kids that want to come to our games because they know our players. Uh, our players work, volunteer with the YMCA leagues, with Girls Inc. and with the Girl Scouts. So the, these young kids know our players and they want to come watch and play and cheer them on. And it's always much more fun to follow people that you know or that you feel like you have a relationship with or hey, she talked to me one time when I mm -hmm. came to a game. Exactly, and, and they, they do. The, the young kids and their parents then will buy into what we're about. Uh, and I'm very proud of what our young student athletes are about. And so I, I'm very okay with showing them off around the city. And real quick, how can people get involved with the Block Club if they uh, desire to? Is there a specific contact or, or how would they go about doing that? If anybody would like to be a member of the Block Club, uh, they can contact me actually uh, at UNO, uh, area code 402. 554-3407 or just get on our website and there's a link for that at unomaha.edu. Okay, Rose Shire is the head coach of the UNO Volleyball Program. Thank you very much. Once again, this has been the UNO Volleyball Show brought to you by Telepro. Telepro is a 20-year Omaha-based video production company and we, again, are very much proud to be the sponsor of this UNO Volleyball Show. If you would like to be a sponsor of the UNO Volleyball Show or any other UNO coaches shows that we will be producing throughout the year, contact us at teleprovideo.com or call us at 402-593-0999. For Head Coach Roe Shires, I'm Matt Kelly. We'll see you next time.